I do another quick garden update. It's the potatoes. And they're doing pretty good. I'll probably have some asparagus that's ready to be cut again. Need to hill up some more so they'll keep growing. And let's see. Oh, we got an odd looking one over there. Some asparagus here. I just cut it the other day. Some more popping through here. Just love it. And that one went to seed early, but uh, that's okay. I think uh, I decided to just leave it. Those are all onions. And you see, I still have beds that need to be fixed. That's my oregano. And there's my garlic. There was supposed to be another whole row here, but some people down the street, their goats got loose one day, and by the time I got them out of the garden, I had lost some garlic. So there's a few left in there, and there's a couple left in that bed. And let's go walk over to the other garden and see what we have. Okay, and here's what I've been able to grow in my little... $20 tractor supply greenhouse. Those are tomatoes. They're doing pretty good. Got some different varieties. Arkansas Walkers, Amish Paste, a um, few Mr. Stripies. So we'll see. Those are um, sweet peppers. Well, sweet and paprika peppers, I should say. And there we have some more tomatoes with a couple of broccoli in between and there we have some uh, squash more squash actually no that's a uh, is that squash? yeah that is squash that's squash that's cucumber and then we have more squash back there we have different varieties more squash there can you tell we love squash? More broccoli there and some more tomatoes there so today I'm gonna plant some more get some beans started um, some peas and there's the lettuce that's still left over that's been growing I've just been clipping it for well since last year so it's doing pretty good and we've got some beets starting to come up in there, in there. Oh, and look at that first bloom. I think it's a male, though. Yeah, first male bloom um, on the squash. Yay! And that's, well, that's zucchini squash. There's another one there. Oh, yeah, and I got a couple in the, we lost several of them. We had a frost, and I covered them, um, but these are the, well, there's one here. It might survive. I don't know. That one looks like it's going to be okay, too, because it's getting some blooms, so it'll recover. This one's doing good. And I just put um, beets in the corners here, so need to get some more planted so we can get our beets, pickled beets put up. I mean, I think we ate the last jar of the 2010 beets, so we'll see. That's the update. Oh, actually, we got a apple tree that I planted here. I took a cutting off of one of my apple trees and let it soak in a root stimulator for a while, and planted it so we'll see what we get out of this I don't know let's go check the ones in the back. we have a really wet and squishy backyard right now because I mean if you look we've had, <laughs> yeah that's the dog drinking uh, rainwater that has gathered up he's such a silly dog clean bowl of water on the porch and he comes and drinks the water up but hey it's natural 
This is an Arbor Day pear tree that I planted from a stick a few years back and it's doing really well. I'm very pleased and I noticed it has, where is it at? There it is. The first pears of the season growing so I'll have to pick which one I want off of there. Actually I think I'll go ahead and well, I'll wait a little bit longer. And then I'll pinch one off. Only let one grow on each stem. But um, it's doing pretty well. I'm hoping we'll have some nice ones this year. So, yeah, lots of good ones up there. And this is a, a dwarf pear tree. And this is another dwarf pear tree. A different variety. And offhand, I don't remember what the varieties are, but same thing even after the storm. Um, they seem to have done pretty well. It stormed so hard the branches were like whipped around. And here's my little plum tree, which I have never gotten any plums off of yet. Now it's four years old and I've read that it could take up to five years, so I'm not sure. I was told initially that you didn't have to have two of them, but um, some wise ladies that I would take their word for said yes. I do need to go ahead and plant another one. So I took a cutting and I planted one here, so I'm hoping that'll make it. Now it's kind of hard to tell because it looks like a stick, but it's there. And then took another cutting and planted it here, which I really think that one might actually do okay because I see some little buds on it, so we'll just hope, and if we can keep him out of it, mm -hmm. yeah, you troublemaker. Come on, boy. 